crown jewel of the entire medical center. Um, and I think based on the appearance, you, you might agree with me. Uh, I know my buddies over in the Women and Children's Center would argue that. But we have a phenomenal institution which benefits the entire community. And what we do here is we treat people with heart disease. So if you're having a heart attack as a result of a blood clot or a blockage caused by plaque, you are going to pay us a visit. And with the special technology, such as our x-ray system and our monitors, we're going to take a look at your heart, figure out what that blockage is, and with special wires, catheters, devices known as stents, we're going to go in there and we're going to pull out that blood clot and we're going to unblock that blockage and restore blood flow to your heart so that that heart attack goes away and that we preserve the function of your heart. A tremendous amount of work has gone into this project and I will give special credit to my boss who worked very closely with me and the entire project so that we create the best cardiac infrastructure in Northern California. Uh, these labs are at least 800 square feet so there's a lot of room to do work um, with specialized physicians and staff. So this is, this is just a phenomenal environment. What I want to do is run you next door real quickly and show you another unique piece of technology that we're very excited to have. So if you walk this way with me. This is lab five. This is what's known as our stereotaxis lab. This lab is designed specifically to treat patients with abnormal heart rhythms such as atrial fibrillation. What is unique about this lab is that if you look at the center table on each side of those large boxes, those are actually live magnets. And what is unique about those magnets is they help us place catheters and wires where sometimes the human hand has difficulty getting access to the heart structures. And once we have access into the vessels of the body, the physician then walks around here, takes off his or her lead apron, sits right there, and beneath this gentleman you see a joystick. Wow. The physician will take that joystick and with that large monitor in front of him or her be able to create a three-dimensional map of the heart, determine what the electrical activity is emanating from in the heart, and then move those wires and catheters right to where that spot is so that we can then do what's known as an ablation where we will then, for lack of a better word, damage that part of the heart muscle, stopping that electrical activity, creating that abnormal rhythm so that patients can go back to a normal quality of life. So the fact that we now have those magnets means that our patient outcomes will probably get even that much better and right now we have a 90%, 96% cure rate. Relative to other centers, I can guarantee they don't have that, that percentage of cure rate. So I'm hoping with these magnets that percentage goes up a couple more points. So, um, so what you're looking at is really a true benefit to the community. So with that said, any questions? It's not the Da Vinci machine. Pardon? It's not the Da Vinci machine. No. no. It's something yeah. else. It's something else. With the secrets of the... Right, right, yeah. The doctor doesn't go inside. Right, well the doctor will go in there and he, he, and she, he or she still needs to get access into the vessels of the body, but once we do the initial access, then they'll sit there and then they'll move the wires, wires and catheters with the joystick. <laughs> so, any other questions? Do you do other than ablations? We put in pacemakers and implantable defibrillators in this particular lab, but in the other lab, we actually work from head to toe. Wherever there's a blockage in any of your vessels, we have the capability of going after that and opening it up. So, so yeah. is this where you install the swan catheter? Well, catheter well, we actually put swans in all of our labs. Um, on the type of procedure I'm talking about for the treatment of arrhythmias, we don't ordinarily put in a swan catheter, but we have in the past. I mean, that is a normal part of what we do in many of our procedures. So again, I think it's a crown jewel of Southern Medical Center, Sacramento. Um, 
And if you ever decide you want to volunteer to have a procedure, we'll be glad to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share though. I just, I just thought I have, I have sort of uh, doctors. Yeah. I use yeah. soda doctors. Well, you know, we are one of the top 50 programs in the country, and that's out of about 2,900 programs. Yeah, so this this is this isn't being biased. The data is out there. This is the top program in Northern California, and one of two top programs in the entire state. So, so this is learned, new technology, the magnet. Yeah. We didn't have yeah. that before. There's only about 50 centers in the country that have it, and we're one of them. Yeah. And can you introduce yourself? Thomas Rhodes. I am the nursing director of this area. You're welcome.